Hello and welcome to the Simplifiers podcast. And this little bonus episode is something that I'm going to do here and there called my thought of the day. Here's how it works. I have these crazy little nudges and thoughts that come from God or universe or whatever you want to call it. Usually when I'm in the shower or after working out at the gym or whatever. And so I want to share my crazy little super thought of the days with you and, you know, let that thought simmer into your brains and uh, see if there is something to it, something that will inspire you or me to take action and to truly simplify our lives. So here is my super thought of today. I want to carry less. I want to carry less physically, I want to carry less practically, and I want to carry less spiritually. I'm telling you guys, I seem to carry 80 billion bags whenever I'm going to work, when I'm going to the gym, my purse, everything physically. I just seem to be like literally the bag lady. I have so much stuff I take everywhere and I go, wait a second. Why do I do that? My laptop, my workout clothes, my shampoo for the gym, my this, my that, da 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 I seem to carry so much stuff. Now, I'm a girl that's on the quest to becoming a true simplifier, literally simplifying aspects in my business and in my life. And it seems so paradoxical to me that I still carry so many bags of stuff. So I want to carry less physically. Number two, I want to carry less practically. And I'll be the very first to admit, I am a type A control freak. Yep, that is me 100%. And I really think I'm at the point where I'm like, no, wait, I want to carry less, less tasks on my plate, less to-dos, less worries on my mind. What can I delegate as we build the Simplifiers team with my company? What can I give to other people and empower others to do who, let's face it, probably can do it faster, smarter, cheaper, and better than what I could do myself? So I want to carry less practically. I also want to carry less spiritually. Now, I believe in God and Jesus is my jam, but for some reason, I totally forget that all of this stuff is not mine to carry. I think I'm in charge. <laughs> that makes me crack up when I think about it. I'm not in charge. I think that I am the one to carry the weight of the world, the worries, the stress, the hardship, the everything. Hey, newsflash, Mary. It's not mine to carry. And what God has in store for you is never in the past. So stop looking behind you. No need to carry that either, no matter what you believe. What would it feel like if you could take that feeling off of your shoulders? Would that open up new ways of thinking, new expansiveness, and new ideas? I want to carry less spiritually. Is that possible? I think so. And I want to say also, I read a very interesting book recently. Is it a matter of caring less? Carrying less, but caring less. Like what Mark Menson's book, uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. He preaches this. I'm not, I'm not sure. Do I need to care less in my life in order to carry less in my life in all three of those areas? I'm not sure, you guys. Maybe not caring about and ultimately not sweat the small stuff, like all the nitty gritty little details. It's a tricky one. What do you guys think? So what are some simple action items for both you and I from today's thought of the day? If you want to carry less, here are three things that you could do literally today to help you. Number one, make your bag smaller. No, really, like literally make your bag smaller. In order to carry less, your bag needs to be smaller so you're not tempted to fill every single crevice with it. And don't fall into the trap of just carrying two or three small bags because I've done that as well. Like you, you reduce your bag, you simplify it, and then you're like, well, I need four more bags because I can't fit it all in. Make your bag smaller. And that helps you, number two, to truly stop and take inventory. Do I really, really need to carry this exact thing in my pocket or in my laptop bag? Like it really makes you stop and slow down and put smart and intentional things in your bag. Truly invest in high quality things that will last longer and actually serve you rather than just buying disposable stuff all the time, disposable clothing, disposable shower goods, whatever it is, right? Invest in high quality. It's going to last longer. 
think about things that are also good for the environment, but also better for you. Be diligent about the weight of everything. A simplifier on my team, Leiden, he and his partner traveled across India and they blogged about it in a, a blog called Lightweight Life. And when they did that, they were tracking everything that they put in their rucksack. So they thought about every single article of clothing, every journal, how heavy is it? And will we carry this on our back every single day as we make this journey together? I love that as a parable and to think about in our everyday life. Like, are you putting things with intention in your bag that serve a purpose, but are also lightweight? And so it just eases that weight off your shoulders. Number three is journal it out. Set a seven minute timer and ask yourself, what would a lightweight life look like? What does your intuition say? What is it? feel like? What does it sound like? What does it look like? Think about all five senses in here. And what are you ready to let go of? You know, when I took inventory of my laptop bag earlier today, I'm not joking. I had three sets of earbuds in my bag. Like, why do I need three sets of headphones? I don't know. It's just a matter of forgetting that you have these things and you pile them on and pile them on and pile them on. Think about that girl from the movie Labyrinth, right? She's in the, um, the, the trash compactor area and there's like all this junk and she's piling it on top of her. Side note for you, Labyrinth is my all-time favorite movie. So to get to know me is to know Labyrinth. Go watch that movie. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can go and check it out. But yeah, what are you piling on unconsciously and forgetting about that's adding to a heavy life in your world? If this thought of the day has inspired you, I encourage you guys, snap a photo of you doing the thing, reducing your bag, whatever, letting go of things, uh, carrying less in your life, and send it to me via Instagram. And I'll be your virtual accountability buddy in your quest to simplify your life. Now, also, friends, I love it when you subscribe to the Simplifiers podcast, but tell your friends because we want to spread the word of the Simplifiers all over across the world. So if you have a friend who really could use a little help in simplifying their life, then please do pass along the word to them and tell them about the Simplifiers podcast. And as always, my friends, keep things simple. Until the next time, have a great day. 